Hello and welcome back to episode 8 of Unknown to World Known Club 3. We are back today with Marseille. Just before we get into today's video, just want to say, if you are enjoying the content so far, please do leave a like down below. Comment what's been your highlight of the series so far. Subscribe if you're enjoying the, what we're doing here. Hit the notification bell. Also, you may have noticed a couple days ago, we had a new song in the outro of my videos. And I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend's band, Circa94. I'll leave a link down below. The song in the outro, it's from a song you released, I think, in November called Paper Tiger. So I'll leave a link down to that on Spotify and a link to his uh, Instagram page and his Facebook page, you know, things like that. I'll leave that down going forward. Do go and check him out. He put, releases some great music. And he's very kindly allowed me to throw one in the outro. So, you know, go and check him out and let's get into the video. So it's been a while since you were last with us. Of course, after our 2-0 win against PSG, we then beat Toulouse in the ninth round of the Coupe de France before also beating Dijon 3-1. We then beat Lorient 1-0 back in the league after the winter break, but lost to Mets, which was a bit of a disappointing result. We really should have been beating them, but we bounced straight back and we've done really well since then. 2-0 against Lons, 1-0 win against Avranches in the 11th round of the Coupe de France, then 3-2 win against Nice in a hard-fought match where eventually we came out on top. 2-0 against Lyon, one of today's opponents in the Coupe de France quarter-final. 4-0 against Montpellier, absolutely ruined them. And then in the Europa League first knockout round, we drew in the home leg against RB Leipzig. We were unfortunate not to win that. You know, we were completely on top in the game. And I'm a bit gutted that we didn't manage to pick up the win. However, today we're going to be playing Lyon in the league now, with a chance to move above them into third place and then we've got the second leg against Leipzig in the Coupe de France we've got Cholet who are actually from the third tier the National League in France so a great chance for us to progress to the final where we would then play one of PSG or Angers hopefully Angers most likely PSG so potential silverware incoming soon but first of all let's see if we can move up into at least third in the league. We have also had a couple of transfers. Sergio Aurea has left. He's gone to Young Boys. Jakobek has gone to Napoli. And we've also let a couple of youngsters go. Incoming, however, we have now brought in Om Omgba. I'm not sure on the pronunciation. He's gone out on loan to Le Mans. Looks like he's got a very good future. We have Gotin, who of course we introduced very briefly in the last episode. He's done quite well since he joined. Then we have a new backup goalkeeper replacing Jakobek in Carlos Teixeira. More one for the future. He's not really going to be playing like Jakobek was every so often. And then we've also brought in Jao Cancelo to replace Serge Aurier, who has left. He's come in for 2.3 million from, I think it was from Liverpool. You know, 90 grand a week, but he's a fantastic right back still. Quite surprised we managed to get him, to be honest. I didn't think he'd join us. And, you know, he's come in. He's been very solid since he arrived. Hopefully he continues that today. And the lineup for the game against Leon, we have Blasquez in goal. A back four of Lirola, Komar, Balerdi and Gotin. Party is the holding midfielder. Vendel and Rongia in front. Then under on the right, Tongia on the left. And Jorge as the main striker. Because we've got the Europa League to think about. So we're, we're rotating a little bit. But in a way that I still feel we can win this game. We can bring Real off the bench if we need to. So throw in on the left hand side for Leon. It's back to Bruno and then forward to Awa. And then back to Bruno again. He's forced back to the goal. I keep calling centre backs goalkeepers recently. Switch of play to the right hand side. Tonga gets back and makes a good tackle. But then Veratu with the cross and... Niku has headed in to make it 1-0 to Leon. A uh, disappointing start there. 
I know I say start, we're, we're nearly half an hour into the game. But it looks like Komar has missed a header here. And yeah, he's he's absolutely missed a header. And that's a very disappointing thing to see your centre-back doing. That's why he's not starting every week. We start now from a goal kick. Belerdi back across to Komar and then out to Vendel. I'll be honest, Komar is probably one of the guys we're looking to sell at the end of this season. Jorge tries to get it back to under, but our tries the ball forward. Belerdi does really well to block that. Vendel, party plays the ball through to Gotin, who's gone through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And anyone else but your left back, you're probably expecting a goal. Veritu with the corner kick from the left. It's head of the way by party though. Awar's going to go and collect it. Can he get a ball back into the box? He's being closed down, but he does get one. And Niku at the far post has headed to make it 2 0. It was a free header because he just kind of ran to the near post and then dropped off. And nobody really seemed to have picked up on that. So unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be a loss to Leon because we're going to struggle to turn this around in the second half. But also, I wanted to try and progress in the Europa League. It was a really difficult time for the Leon game to fall. And at half time, it's even more difficult because it's 2 0 and it's not looking great for us. I think what we're going to have to do is bring Komar off because I've fallen out with him. We're back with another highlight that's again in Leon's favour as they bring the ball forward. Bruno on the ball. Ball through to Awa. It's a great ball through. He cuts it back, but Uore does really well to present it. Oh, dear. And the roller has just gone, you know what? Have your hat trick. I don't care. The roller might have just found his way onto the transfer list at the end of the season. Because there's, you know, there's making mistakes... And then there's what Lerola has chose to do here. And that is absolutely abysmal. Send him to the sun. We now have under stood over a free kick. Hits it. And it's wide of the post. So we're not even... We're not finding our way back into this at all. And at this point, I'm fairly sure this game's over. So we'll bring Sifatunas on for Vendel. And I'm not even going to make any other changes because I don't really want to... Re you know what, we'll bring Lukavar on for under because under is probably playing against Leipzig, so rest him a little bit. Ball down the right-hand side to Zergova. Or our to Montagne. And then Siftunas has gone and nicked the ball there. Plays the ball through to Lukava. Inside to Jorge, back to Siftunas. Shoots from range and cracks it against the bar. That felt like it should have been a much better opportunity than it ended up being. A free kick from the left-hand side. It's head of the way by party, though. Zago Grover collects it. Aguilar to our shoots from range and hits the post, and we nearly find ourselves 4-0 down. However, that might still happen, as Tonga denies a ball into the box. Blasquez clears it away, but it's going to go through to Tapia, and he's not really under any pressure. Rekic to Ruse. And it's coming forward again. Zagrova through ball to Niku. And he goes for the lob but sends it over the bar. That's a bit of a humiliation away to Leon, unfortunately. On the one hand, we did progress in the cup, which kind of means a bit more, in my opinion, because yeah, it's a chance for silverware. We're we're kind of expecting to be top four. And yeah, if you're not top. Where you are in the top four doesn't matter too much, especially if we do manage to cause an upset and win the cup. I say an upset, it's only because we could be playing PSG in the final. And then, yeah, we, we might have a Europa League run if we can get past Leipzig now. And the lineup for the away game against Leipzig, we've got Blasquez in goal, Cancelo, Mbete, Belerdi and Cornet, Petty is a holding midfielder, then Gerson and Vendel. And then we've got Lecavre on the right, Under on the left, and Real as the striker. We are also going to go with the direct counter-attack. With it in mind that we're playing away, I think that'll play more into our hands. So we've got a free kick starting from the back for Leipzig. Ball down the wing to Nkunku. He has a chance to get a cross in. Does so. Oh. And we've bought in Mbete as a centre-back because of what Komar did in the last game. And Mbete... Has just decided, well, you know what? 
I didn't want to play tonight. I'm just going to push somebody over and give them a penalty eight minutes into the game and give us a mountain to climb. What a guy. Furham steps up and puts it in the back of the net. We are in big trouble now, thanks to a centre-back once again deciding he doesn't want to defend how you meant to defend. Last time it was, I don't want to win that header. This time it's, I don't want to, I, I don't want to defend, I'm just going to hit him. Jao Cancelo going to try and do something about it though. Finds the carver to Gerson on the edge. Back to Jao Cancelo. Cuts it back Gerson. All the way back to Bellardi though. And then forward to Petit. He gives it away. And there's a chance for Leipzig to break away. For him on the left here. He's being forced wide. Cross goes to the entire opposite side of the pitch. And Kunku back to Francis Olmo. Reese on the edge. Olmo into the box. Furham with the header hits the post. And now Corner and Blasquez were a bit too calm about that. And Kunku with a corner kick to the far post. And Palomero heads it over the bar. We now have a corner of our own under. Plays it short to Vendel. And then he gives it away. That's absolute. I think I need to turn off these short corners. They, they don't work at all. Vendel to Lucava. Back to Schalconcello. Can he get a ball in behind? He plays it back to Vendel, who then goes back to Petit, Lacava, Cancelo. He keeps getting chances, but not actually going forward real to under. Back over the top to Lacava, who's forced wide inside to Cancelo. Back to Lacava, into the box. Real with the shot, but it's cleared away. Half time, we are 1 0 down still, which means we're going to have to go for. A change. We're going to go back to vertical to Kitaka and see if we can push for a goal. Jao Cancelo throws the ball in, but it's headed away instantly. He does collect it again, however. Brings it inside to Gerson. Petit back to Vendel. Jao Cancelo was making a run, but he was ignored. And Bete now on the ball gets it back to Cancelo. Vendel. Back to Petit. Ball switches to under on the left hand side. Gets it across the box. How is Real not putting it in the back of the net? Put it in the. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Real has just had the ball on their goal line and passed it away. Leipzig are now countering through Palmeirao. He plays it back to Reza and Kunku. Palmeirao. And he was offside, but Real was literally. If he'd back healed the ball, we'd be equalised. Cancelo throws the ball into Lacava and then he goes back to Mbete, Bellardi to Petit, Gerson to Real, out to Lacava. There's a man running through the middle. It's Vendel, one on one with the keeper. He's put it wide. Oh, we, we have started the second half so well. And now, straight from the goal kick, we've got another highlight. Ramos on the ball. Olmo back to Ramos. We're trying to press them. Long ball forward has found Palmeiro. Berlardi has gone out to close him down. Ball into the box. And I think it was Jao Cancelo missed the header. And Furham missed a great chance at the far post. And Kunku with a goal free kick. Now Ramos. Oh, it's over. It's all over. It was Ramos at the far post. Headers to make it 2-0 to Leipzig. And for a second year in a row, a uh, trip in Europe is ending a lot earlier than we would like. Cornet with a throw in here. Gerson to Real. Back to under. Real plays an ambitious ball over the top. That w Why didn't he go with the short pass inside to uh, inside to under? But no. Fendel on the ball here. Forced back to Mbete. Bellardi to Petit. Gerson to under. Back to Real. Chance here. Goes for the lob. He's got us one back. Have I spoken too soon? It's 2-1. All we need now, we've got 25 minutes or so to grab a second goal, which could take us through to extra time. Real is going to try and drag us there. Cancelo with a throw in, gives it away straight away. And then Reese through to Palmeira out. Oh no. He's gone around the keeper. He's still on the ball, but he can't find anyone. Lecar oh, Lecar has just been pickpocketed. Ampadu has put it wide of the post. Henrique throws the ball into Furham. We are getting a lot of highlights at this stage of the game. And now Henrique inside to Olmo. Furham back to the centre-backs. 
I don't like how much possession they're having here. Ball over the top, finds Palmeiro. One-on-one -on -one with the Kiwis, fourth wide, and Kunku. Oh. And you know what? The game's done it again. It's gone. Here's a, here's a dash of hope. Here's a dash of hope. You're back. You're back into it. You only need one more goal. Dead. Dead. All your hopes and dreams. Dead and buried. FM loves to do that to you. And it's done it to us again today. We're going to bring Siftunas on in the middle for Gerson, who's not really got going at all today. And Iore can come on for Mbete due to what he did earlier on in the game. Before those changes can be made, though, we've got another highlight starting from a goal kick. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. The last one of these ended as getting a goal. Sif Tunis, oh, the changes have come through, actually, before the goal kick. And then Belurdi is on the ball. Petit, back to Belurdi. And we're exchanging the ball quite nicely. Cornet to under, inside to Petit. He has it bounced kindly. Vendel to João Cancelo. Tries to find the ball through to Lacava, but there was always too much on that. And it's easy for the keeper to collect. Eventually, he is going to play the ball long, I imagine, goes towards the right-hand side of the pitch. Bullard has been beaten to it. And Iste plays... How on earth did he do that cross? But Ampadu heads it wide. Later on, we're going to bring Tong... Later on, we're going to bring Jorge on for under, and then Lacava can go out on the left and Jorge on the right. Fendel with a cross here goes towards the far post. It's headed the way. Jorge has collected it as it's come down. Tries to get into the box, but Almo prevents him from doing so. The clearance finds Cancelo. Fendel back on the ball, and then inside to Petit. He switches to play. Lacava can't get there though, and it's cleared away again. Belurdi collecting it this time. Plays it back inside to Petit. I'm surprised his highlight is still going on. Lacava on the ball. Ball over the top. Finds Real. Oh, he's missed it. That was a chance to get us back into the game again with 10 minutes to go. From the corner, though. Cornet plays it short to Vendel. Ball into the box. Real heads it straight at the keeper. That's two chances for Real there. Iore plays it short to Vendel and then back to Cancelo. He goes inside to Iore and back to Bellardi. At this point, like, I don't think it matters. I, I can't see a score. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, Joao Cancelo is getting sent off. I was going to say I can't see he's getting back into it. I definitely can't now because we are down to 10 men. And that is all she wrote. Jorge's going to... Poorly attempt to throw the ball into the box. It didn't even make it to the box. Henrique to Palmeiro. And Leipzig might be just adding a fourth here. He takes it to the corner. Back to Henrique. And then back to Reese. They're actually just playing keep ball here. Henrique to Ampadu. Switches the ball out to Francis on the right. Cross comes in. And Iore heads it away. Jorge has collected it. He's breaking it away. We've got a chance to counter-attack. Again, it's it's too late to matter. Almost nicked the ball anyway. Alda inside to Palmeiro. And he shoots from range. It's wide and over. And we are out of Europe. At the hands of RB Leipzig. I will say, as much as it's disappointing, we have had two really difficult draws in the Europa League. Yeah, we had Benfica last year. This year we've got Leipzig. They're not teams that... Yeah, we could have drawn Celtic. We could have drawn Rangers. We could have drawn young boys, but no, we get Leipzig. It's a bit bit of a harsh draw, and I can't be too unhappy with going out to a team like that. But what we'll do now, we're just going to play the one game in the middle. We've got to come back for our French Cup semi-final, really, haven't we? So that's exactly what we'll do. We'll play saint Etienne off-camera, and we'll be back with you tomorrow for Cholet and Strasbourg. And hopefully we find our way into the Coupe de France final where hopefully we don't end up against PSG. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like. Comment down below if you're going to go check out Circa 94. Again, leave a link down there and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Thank you very much for watching.